Let's go move on here, guys. Okay, I don't think I'm moving. <laughs> I think I'm stuck. Ah, shoot. Yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, figure a way to get out of this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to bring this in. Yeah, you can't go over there very easily. Uh, the water there is a little bit on the shallow side. <laughs> Thought I could. Thought it was worth a try anyway. There we go. We got something here. It's probably a perch. A perchino. Yep. Just gonna keep on trolling. Start turning back into here. Okay, guys, it's the sun's going down. Don't let the sun sit down on me. There we go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, get the boat stopped. Check that one anyway. Let's see. What do we got here? Oh, an asp. 732, not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, sorry about the whispering, guys. My wife's asleep. I'm trying not to wake her up. <laughs> Doing my best, anyway. Yeah, I make most of these videos late at night. And I'm working during the day and the evenings doing family adulting things. Not sure if there's anything on here or not tell sometimes. Nah. I'm gonna change it anyway. Let me see. Yeah, this does usually pretty good at night. I'm thinking about using it anyway because one of the biggest catfish ever was caught on here according to the leaderboard off that very lure. There we go. Now we're talking. These little tube-like lures, they don't do too bad. That's not a bad pike. I mean, he's no monster, but... Hey, you know, pike's a pike's a pike. feeling that the trolling is going to slow down in a minute here anyway, but we're going to go position ourselves in the hole out here for the night. It's like a blood moon. I have to expect the zombies to come out. Just 
use the gold one. It's been good for catching perch, I'll say that, and the occasional bite. I don't know if it makes like a vibration underwater because of the shape. So, all right, guys, it's morning again. I just settled in the hole for the night. Didn't catch anything, <laughs> not a thing. So, I'm going to get everything situated up here so that we can go ahead and start doing some trolling here, but. I just want to reel this in right, so in case something decides it wants to attack. Alright. Okie dokie. Go ahead and sit, and we're going to go ahead and start taking off here. Sorry about that, guys. I had to reach down and uh, make a puppy mine. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear them jingling around, but they're, they like to get down there and rustle, and he's trying to eat the couch. Oh, there we go. Something's on that one. Wow, what do we got here? Ah, oh, chill. Would you two knock it off? <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Crazy dogs. And yeah, not a bad chub. Chubs are always good. They always bring a lot of cash. And we got another one here. Got to be careful that I don't run aground. <laughs> Getting a bunch of little perch is not always a bad thing. It's always a good thing. Because in many instances, they can bring in quite a bit of cash if there's something there at the cafe. That's true for any of the small fish. I'm going to change these lures up. I haven't been catching much off of them, just perch and things like that, so I think I'm going to put something out, maybe something new? I don't know. Let me think. I do this a lot, guys. Sorry about that. When I fish, if, you know, if things don't go, I'll just switch it off to something else. And try it for a while. This pink one's always been real good for the pike, especially when I'm on the winding rivulet. That lure is awesome on the winding rivulet. Yeah, these lures aren't bad, but they're just not wonderful. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing with lures. You start finding out what you like and what you don't like. I feel like I should give each and every one at least a try. Maybe more than one try. But I've been really thinking about trying some more of these crankbaits. Especially while trolling. That one looks like a good one. In the sun, it's nice and bright and orange. Might get some fish's attention. At least that's my hope, anyway. Man, that's... 
nothing yet. We are going by these cattails. A lot of times I'll get some pike as soon as I pass right by it. There we go. See what I mean? Oh, okay. Now this is a fish. And it's on that pink one. I told you that pink one is good for the pike. Okay, this one's going to be... This is going to be a good fish. Stop this and fight this guy. Cautious, my precious. Cautious, my precious. Okay. Not my best, Smeagol. starting to, he's coming he's coming oh boy he's fighting he is a bruiser I can tell you that this is most likely a pike or salmon leaning towards the pike department Jeez, I think he's moving the boat. <laughs> Damn. Quite the fish. Quite the fish. Hmm. They've been fighting this guy for a while. I figured as long as this is going to take, I wasn't going to constantly just be recording, so I figured I'd put a cut in there. But I think he's coming now. He's. He's getting in there. It's like a, a getting real close to the, the boat, and he keeps bolting. See what I mean? Just like that. And I do not want to lose this guy. Damn, he's big. I want to keep him, f keep him fighting, so I can wear him out. Come on. Man, you are one pain in the ass fish. <laughs> I keep getting in and so close and he just keeps getting away from me. Taking a minute. Okay, now he's going to go around the front of the boat. Ugh, come on, fish. Come on. Jeez. He is almost in, guys. 
almost there. Ah, heck, I hope he's not caught. I'm just gonna get the net out there. There he is. Oh, wow. Now that's a nice fish. 7,280 XP. Not bad at all. That may be the biggest fish I've caught out of here. I'm not sure. At least one of them. Very nice. That's gonna help. Of course, now I'm stuck in the weeds. Now he pulled me all over the place. Yeah, I don't need to check that. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna be heading back here, guys. I'm getting, it's getting a little late. We'll continue to go ahead and troll on the way back, but that was that was an experience, I'll tell you. That was that was quite fun. Definitely think we did very well. We got some pretty big fish out of that. That last salmon was the best, and we got a really good pike much earlier. Of course, it isn't over yet, so we haven't actually got to the dock. <laughs> Let me see. I'm going to go ahead and get something here. A little bit of hot cake. Yummy. Alright, guys. We are here. And I'm going to watch real carefully as we pass these, these reeds or cattails. Seems like half the time when I'm trolling and I'm coming in, I'll end up hooking into something. Nice relaxing day for fishing. Nice and sunny and pretty. And now let's try not to crash into the other boat now. We got it! Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> I should have looked back. I wasn't paying attention. Come on. Uh, don't think he's all that big. I think he might be caught. Yeah, I found I had that happen a couple of times over in the reeds. I've had the fish get kind of caught up in it. It's not really a snag, but sort of. It's like the fish has lodged itself around something else, an object, and you have to get to the other side to get it dislodged. So that's what we're going to end up having to do here. God bless it. Yeah, there's definitely a fish on it, though. All right, let's see if we can't maneuver the boat back over here towards the uh, other side of the dock. Now let's try it. Yeah, see? See, it broke free. And the fish is still on there. Yeah, don't assume it's a snag. Usually it'll say it's a snag. I think we might have another one on the other one. Yeah, it looks like a pike. Yeah, see, he wasn't huge, but he got himself around those cattails. Yeah, we definitely got another one here. That's what I'm saying. When you get close to the dock, you really gotta pay close attention. This one isn't bad. And here I thought it was over. <laughs> there we 
go. Uh, that was roughly the same size. Yeah, they like I said, they just keep getting themselves in and around that, all that structure. And my dogs are losing their minds. <laughs> Get our butts back over here again. We'll try this one more time. Let's go check out the cafe first, see if there's anything we can get from there. Let's see. Nope. Nah, nothing for the perch, daggone it. And the Atlantic salmon I have is not the right size. I might have to come back here and just do some bleak fishing. I haven't really focused on that. I mean, I know that it doesn't give a lot of XP, but it seems like the cafe is always asking for them. I have not, I don't think I've caught a nace out of here. Yeah, if you guys know of some good areas for them, uh, go ahead and post those in the comments because I just, like I said, I think most of us tend to focus on the big ones. I've got a Real over here I need to check on. Yep. It is finished. Yeah, I had a fish take off on me when I wasn't expecting it and did a little bit of damage to that. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and sell these fish. Something tells me we did pretty good, and yes we did. Holy crap. Holy crap, that may be the, the most I've ever made off of a fish right there. Alright, we are going to definitely bring in some change here. Yeah, see, just about every one of the pike bring in pretty good. That's why the trolling's so, so efficient for getting the silver. I just wish that we had something at the cafe for the, the perch. That would have been really nice. Well, let's go ahead and get these sold off. Yep, I knew I got off of that. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll be back with another episode of Russian Fishing 4. So until then, always remember guys, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.